save the date guys. On July 17, 2024, the Royal Enfield Gorilla 450 will be introduced. This release aims to increase the appeal in the 450 cubic centimeter segment. When launched, the Gorilla 450 will take on rivals like the Speed 400, CB300R, Maverick 440, Pulsar NS 400Z and 390 Duke. A few days after the teaser photos of the Royal Enfield Gorilla 450, more photos have surfaced that seem to be leaks of the latest color variants of the Gorilla 450. These photos show two variants of the Gorilla 450, the first is red and gold with a round TFT color display in the cockpit, and the second is monochrome in light blue-gray with a semi-digital display and separate aero navigation. And another spied photos reveal the newest color for Gorilla 450 which is now, a new yellow shade has also been revealed for Gorilla 450. Apart from the color, this yellow variant also gets distinctive checkered flag graphics on the fuel tank. Among the three color choices, the yellow one seems the most attractive though. Many enthusiasts have also expressed their interest for the yellow Gorilla. Another unique aspect of this variant is that the yellow shade has been used only on the fuel tank and rear tail section. This creates a more exciting contrast with the blacked out parts. The Rush Lane website has just released a digital 3D render created by Triple Lines with a 360 degree view giving a better idea of the overall look and feel of the bike. So guys, don't go anywhere because the story just started. When compared to the Himalaya 450, which feels a bit bulky with its off-road gear and bigger wheels, the Gorilla 450 stands out because to its agility and maneuverability. A similar design technique is used for the Hunter 350, which is one of Royal Enfield's best-selling motorcycles in India. The Royal Enfield Gorilla 450 has a sharp profile, with significant characteristics like as a round headlight and mirrors, fork guards, a sculpted fuel tank, rugged engine cowl, a single-piece seat and upswept exhaust. The motorcycle sports 17-inch wheels in the front and back, with road bias tires. Both ends have disc brakes, and dual channels will be included as standard version. With its low seat height, the Gorilla 450 can meet the needs of a wide range of users. The ergonomics are fairly good, with a broad handlebar and a center-mounted footrest. The motorcycle is designed for urban highways, but it can also tackle light off-road terrain. So guys, that's it for today. What do you think for the new color though?